epicyclic refers to as the loci of a point made when a circle of a smaller diameter rotates outside the circumference of a circle of bigger diameter all right so for today's class the diameter for a bigger circle is going to be 120 mm while for a smaller circle is going to be 40 mm bigger circle 120 mm while smaller circle is diameter 40 mm okay so for my bigger circle 120 mm the radius is going to be what radius 60 so with my ruler coming here i pick radius 60 then look i'm going to look at just any point any point on my drawing sheet then i'm going to what i'm going to uh draw all right right so after drawing i'm going to uh draw a straight line yeah i'm going to draw a straight line so preferably let me make use of angle 30 degrees yeah if you are given angle make use of angle if you are not given any angle you can just make use of any angle of your choice all right so let me make use of angle 30 degree okay with angle 30 degree i drew uh this very line okay so after drawing that we set for a smaller diameter it is what it is diameter 40 that is going to go radius 20 so i am measuring radius 20 on my ruler now so with radius 20 i'm going to place it on the circumference of this external circle strike an arc first of all then from the arc which i strike i'm going to what draw out uh the circle all right After drawing this circle of radius 20, then I'm going to place my 30, 60 degree set square right here and what and draw this line so as to divide this circle into what into four equal parts. So having done that, I'm going to divide this particular circle into what into 12 equal parts. I'm dividing this circle into 12 equal parts, all right. Okay, so after dividing this. Uh, smaller than 12 hours. The next thing is to do the number. So I'm going to number it clockwise. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, 0, 1, 12. So I haven't done that. The next thing is uh, pick one of the divisor of this circle. Picking one of the divisor. All right. Then stepping it off 12 times on the circumference of this bigger circle. All right, so from point from point zero, one, two, three, four, five, twelve. So I haven't done that. The next thing is to uh, do the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and so after doing that the next thing is for me to uh, pick my ruler then draw a straight line across each point numbered all right i need to draw a straight line across each point number yeah to our uh, point two at the bottom here so i'm doing the same thing from uh, 12 to point zero all right okay so i haven't drawn that line the next thing is this pick your compass place it at the point oh yeah extend it to Point one, and you take note that point one and eleven lie on the same plane. Then you would you draw a semicircle, yeah, a circle cutting across. Then from this point two, also you extend to point two, all right. So you also draw from this point two, you extend to point two, yeah, point three. Then you draw also. You extend to point four also. You extend to point uh, five also. You extend to point six also. Then on point three itself, this center of our circle, yeah. So we extend it and also what we also draw, right? This way. So that is that about that. Then the next thing is what pick your compass. Come to the center. Yeah. Let's actually take that center line. 
Yeah, this arc we drew from the center here. Let's stick in it. All right. Let's stick in it very well. Okay, so that is our what, our center. Our center. So coming to the center on point one, then picking the radius of our circle, the circle which we drew earlier on. So coming to center of one, I'm going to draw my first circle. Okay, so wherever circle of one touches the bigger arc of one here, I'm going to what as Terry kit. So I'm going to do the same thing on midpoint of number two here. Yeah, of point number two here. This is number two. Yeah, on, on this line of number two. So trace it here down to the center. Then you what you draw also. So this for number two and circle two, it meets here. It meets here. All right. So for three, this is the midpoint for point three. You can see trace it. All right, that's three. So after drawing your circle for three, so for three, this is it here. All right, and this circle for three, this is where it touches it at this junction. So you are steric it. All right, so for point four, this is for point four here. All right, placing it there. Drawing your circle for four, all right. So, and this is the line for point four to circle four. This is the point it makes with it. So, to point five, okay, to point five, okay. So, this is the a line for five, and this is the junction it makes with five. Yeah, that junction it makes with five. Okay, for point six, this is point six here. Right? So it does circle for six, and this is the point it makes with point six. Right? So for point seven, for point seven, okay, so this is the junction it makes with point seven, which is here. For point eight, tracing the straight line of point eight, that is it over here. So you draw for point eight. All right. So this is the point right here for point nine. This is straight line for point nine. All right. Place it there and draw yourself. So for point nine, this is it right here. For point ten, placing it at the center. Then drawing for. Point ten. Okay, so this is the point it makes with point ten for point eleven for line of eleven over there. Okay, so you can see one and eleven comes down to here to this area. Then for point twelve, which is here. Okay, circle for 12 and your 12 is here, your 12 is here, and your 0 is here, 0 is here. The next thing is pick your French curve and draw uh, the trace of the what epicycloid curve, yeah, through the point which you marked earlier on. Alright, so that is the epicycloid curve. Thank you.